Hey, what's up, guys? It's Tibbs, and I think it's time for a very candid discussion. And before I get started with the crux of this video, I wanted to point out that the idea for this video actually came to me a couple of weeks ago. And uh, at the time, I was thinking about calling this video what the current state of Battle for Azeroth means for Classic WoW. The idea behind the video was to talk about all of the shortcomings and controversies of BFA and how that might affect Classic WoW's reception in 2019. Unfortunately, however, I feel like the issue itself has grown a lot more and transcended BFA, and as a result, I'm calling this video now what the current state of Blizzard Entertainment means for Classic WoW. If you guys haven't been following the gaming news over the past month or so, uh, to summarize it for you very delicately, a series of unfortunate calamities seem to have befallen Blizzard in a very short period of time, and as a result, at least from a community reception standpoint, Blizzard has seemed to fall a notch or two down uh, the ladder of community reverence, let's call it. Um, and I think that's most uh, accurately demonstrated by the number of dislikes on a lot of their recent videos, specifically their BFA videos, but also videos like the Diablo Immortals release trailer announcement. Um, a lot of their videos and a lot of their content has been slammed online over the past month. And I want to talk to you guys about that, um, whether or not I think that's fair, and uh, most importantly, whether or not I think that'll have an impact on Classic. Spoiler alert, I think it will. But let's get started first and foremost with some of the things that have happened, um, and I'll summarize them very quickly for you guys. First and foremost, the Diablo Immortals controversy, TLDR, people are expecting Diablo 4, Blizzard announced a mobile game instead, people flipped out. Uh, thing number two, uh, the Kotaku article that was released uh, shortly after Diablo Immortals. TLDR, some Blizzard employees reportedly said that uh, Activision was, quote, taking over. They talked about Diablo projects that were canceled, and they said that Blizzard is reportedly working on a Warcraft Go, a.k.a. a Pokemon Go knockoff for Warcraft. All speculation, nothing verified, nobody quoted uh, specifically from Blizzard, but... Um, it's what Kotaku reported. Calamity number three happened a couple of days ago. The Chinese ethics board banned multiple titles from China, and it called for corrective action on a number of other titles as well, including World of Warcraft and Overwatch, and I think one or two other Blizzard titles, although I can't remember. And number four, uh, which was announced yesterday, Heroes of the Storm will no longer receive esports support, meaning that the Heroes of the Dorm competition and the annual Heroes of the Storm championship have now been canceled, and a number of Heroes of the Storm developers have been moved from that project to several other projects, meaning effectively, in my opinion, this is how I interpreted it, um, Heroes of the Storm will be going into maintenance mode, more or less which is uh, pretty unfortunate for that community. Um, I never really believed in this project, honestly, since when it was announced back in like 2014. At the time, I was like waist deep in the MOBA genre, and basically everyone in the MOBA genre thought this was kind of out of place or Blizzard was a little bit late to the party. The market had already been saturated. Dota 2 was there, League of Legends was there, Smite was there. Heroes of the Storm kind of came two years too late, in my opinion. But um, regardless... Um, it's very sad for the community that's involved in that game. Um, I know a couple of people that are heavily involved in Heroes of the Storm, and I feel for them, and I wish them all the best moving forward. But yeah, just, just another calamity in a series, uh, a long laundry list of calamities that has befallen Blizzard over the past month or so. And finally, the fifth calamity, um, Battle for Azeroth. Yes, I'm listing that as a calamity in and of itself because I think calling Battle for Azeroth short of disastrous is a little bit disingenuous. Um, I believe in all my years playing and following World of Warcraft that no expansion has been received so poorly so early on in its life cycle. And if BFA continues on pace, uh, it has a very, very strong chance of being in a worse position than Warlords of Draenor was towards the end of 2016. Very scary. Very scary indeed. So what happened? <laughs> What's going on? I mean, it's actually insane. I have never seen a AAA company fall out of favor so fast. Or let me rephrase that. I've never seen a AAA company that was held in such high regard fall from grace so rapidly. And it feels like this has happened literally in the snap of a finger. I mean, a month's time in a company's life cycle is a relatively short period of time. I mean, if you go back to August 2018, just a few months ago, early August, before BFA launched, 
Blizzard was still the apple of the gaming world's eye for the most part. Um, sure, it wasn't the Blizzard that we all remember it to be, um, but you would never expect people to refer to Blizzard and EA in the same sentence. I mean, it just wasn't heard of. Whereas now it feels like Blizzard has been knocked down a few pegs and is now in the drudges of the EAs and the Bethesdas and a couple of the other companies that I don't want to name right now. Um, it seems like the community views Blizzard just like any other AAA money-hungry conglomerate. And whether or not that's justified, I can't really say because everyone has their own perspective on it. But I will say this, uh, things are not looking very bright for Blizzard. If you look at the horizon right now, if you look at 2019, or at least the first half of 2019, um, there's really nothing coming out. There's no new WoW expansion coming out. Uh, the recent Heroes of the Storm, I'm sorry, Heroes of the Storm, lol. Uh, the recent Hearthstone expansion just came out, and I don't see anything planned for the next three or four months for uh, Hearthstone. After that, you have Heroes of the Storm, which we just lolled about. That's pretty much down the drain right now. Overwatch is Overwatch, um, continuously becomes cannibalized by the uh, Battle Royale genre, Fortnite, PUBG, etc. And Diablo is immortal, uh, maybe not so immortal. Uh, we really have nothing coming out for Diablo anytime soon, aside from possibly immortals, but, you know, that's, that's a whole thing in and of itself. So it doesn't look like there's a light at the end of the tunnel in the first half of 2019 for Blizzard. It looks like it's going to be a long six months for blizzard uh potentially eight months nine months depending on when classic wow is released and that's what i want to talk to you guys about what does all this bull crap mean for classic well this is going to sound really weird um I think it's great for Classic. <laughs> I do. I, I think it's fantastic for Classic. And it's very unfortunate because it's not really good for Blizzard. I still think they are head and shoulders above uh, a variety of other AAA developers. I don't think they're at the EA level just yet. Um, it's unfortunate that they've been knocked down a couple of pegs over the past month. But uh, I still don't think they're quite there yet. And as a result, I still have a tremendous level of respect for them. They will always be the company to me that made Warcraft 3, that made Diablo 2, that made Vanilla WoW. And I will always have a special place in my heart for that. But that said, we're living in the real world here. And... Uh, what have you done for me lately is a phrase I've heard a lot of people say. When it comes to gaming companies, what have you done for us lately? You look at Blizzard and you kind of scratch your head. Um, what have they done for us? Well, they announced Classic WoW. And as far as I'm concerned, that's good enough for me. <laughs> uh, Classic WoW is my favorite game of all time. Um, I do think it's going to revolutionize the MMO genre once again when it's released. And I do think that because of this storm of crap that's kind of been cursing Blizzard and following Blizzard over the past month or two, um, I do think Classic WoW is going to shine all the brighter. And I think I'll go so far as to say that I think Classic WoW is going to be viewed eight months from now as sort of a beacon of light and almost like a savior for Blizzard. Um, because if Classic WoW does as well as we all hope it will do, uh, it could be the bright point of 2019 for Blizzard Entertainment. And as a result, if Classic WoW does succeed, if it is that beacon of light, I think that means great things for the future of the Classic franchise beyond vanilla. Yes, I am talking about Classic TBC. I am talking about Classic Wrath. As it stands right now, Blizzard does not really know the demand of Classic TBC servers or Classic Wrath servers because we haven't had uh, a number of successful Classic TBC private servers or Wrath private servers that have been as public as NOST was. Yes, there are a number of TBC private servers that have been released over the past couple of years. There's a number of Wrath Lich King ones that are out there. Popular, both of them, um, in many ways, but they haven't really made headlines the same way that NOS did. And as a result, I don't think Blizzard completely can analyze just how popular those servers would be. But if Classic is successful, if it comes out to be this beacon of light, this guardian angel, and if it proves to be a financially viable product, not just for the first six months, not just for the first 12 months, but for 24 months and beyond, I think it does force Blizzard to look back at the classic franchise and think to themselves, okay, maybe we should do TBC. Maybe we should do Wrath because the other stuff that we're pumping out, people aren't really liking it that much. And um, that's obviously a good thing for classic gamers everywhere. Um, it's very exciting. It's very exciting. 
Classic TBC is something I'm very much looking forward to. Classic Wrath, not so much. Uh, it, you know, I, I've got a lot of issues with Wrath. I won't talk about that in this video. But um, Classic TBC is very exciting. And obviously, Vanilla WoW is very exciting as well. Um, but I do think overall, uh, the current status of Blizzard does uh, bode well for Classic. But um, with that said, I'm excited for Classic WoW more than ever. Uh, if Classic WoW is the savior of 2019 for Blizzard, I think it gets more attention. And I think that's good for Classic fans everywhere. So let's end on that optimistic note. I believe it wholeheartedly. And I'm very excited to see uh, what happens with Classic in summer 2019. It's going to be another long wait, guys. I don't expect uh, too much news r really soon or anything like that. But whenever it comes out, we'll be here. We'll be excited. And you guys know I'll be pumping out videos in the meantime as well. But um, yeah, just wanted to have that candid talk with you guys. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying your December. Holidays are coming up once again. New Year's, Christmas, all that stuff. Um, I wish you guys all health and happiness and um, hope you guys enjoy the new year. But aside from that, I'll see you guys in the next video. And as always, tips out, baby.